it's, that's still a little loud for me. Alright, um, just, hey, greetings to the, uh, two people that might end up seeing this stream one day. Um, I'm just kind of, well, I'm just kind of streaming basically just to show that I'm not dead. I am, and I've not run away like a lot of other, uh, you know, two viewer Andes trying to make it out there. Um, I am legitimately still working on Vroid Studio, um, making a model out here. I, uh, it took me just eons to make the hair, uh, that is very awkward working in this, uh, program sometimes, especially for the hair. Um, and right now I'm just kind of working on the outfit for my character. It's slow going, but, you know, I just wanted to kind of check in and just ensure people that this channel's not dead. Um, I don't know. I don't have really too much to say about, uh, you know, where I've been. Thing, things are fine. I'm just kind of slowly, uh, you know, working on this in my off time uh, between work and all that other good stuff. Um, I'm aiming for a uh, Mega Man ZX inspired art style uh, model. I have a bunch of references on my other screen that I look at occasionally though. Especially for currently what's in the outfit, I'm mostly just kind of taking stuff from the you know, pre-existing Vroid assets and slapping them into paint.net doing my edits trying to give myself kind of this off blue lab coat, purple-ish lab coat so because uh, I kind of have a um, plan for being chemistry themed of course as uh, I have spoken before about you know my occupation that like I am a chemist by degree and I work in lab safety um, now and so chemistry is kind of one of my passions I want to translate that into part of my personality here with Vroid and with streaming and all that so I'm going for um, you know a lab coat look right now a fire resistant one in particular. That's why it's blue. All the ones in, that are fire resistant are blue for some reason. That's the color that the world settled on. Um, kind of going for oh, that. That's still too saturated. Need to tone that down a little bit. Um, but yeah, with like being a Mega Man ZX kind of inspired character, I'm going for something that's more like. Um, uh, how do I how do I sh how do I quickly explain the in progress lore in my head? Um, I guess I'm going for something a little bit more on the like. I'm d I'm making a reploid, so I'm making a canon that characters robot. I mean you can t I mean you could tell already the whole PNG thing the PNG I, psh, robot right there, um, but I'm continuing that idea into. Uh, ZX, uh, the ZX model lore, and, um, oh, what else am I trying to say here? And I like the idea that, uh, I might have, like, so in the lore, there, for those not familiar, um, Mega Man ZX has biometals, and that's how our legendary heroes X and Zero kind of re-manifest themselves in the partially within the main characters. It's a whole thing. I can't explain the entirety of the damn lore. But, um... I like the idea of maybe my character being someone who kind of created their own artificial, like, uh... biometal. Maybe not art. I mean, they were all artificial in the lore, but one without like the soul of some pre-existing character in the Mega Man history, the Mega Man canon, and uh, end up being, you know, the person who also tested out on himself and now has uh, a very basic kind of alt form, uh, you know, infused some kind of biometal type material. I think it's kind of neat. It's it's strange for me to. Um, like, basically be making an OC. That's not something that I tend to do. 
It's uh, this is my first time ever venturing into that kind of territory. I don't normally like the whole. Never really been into like fan fiction stuff like that. It's um, I suppose it's things that I toss around in my head, but not stuff that I actually end up doing most of the time. Don't know. It's just never been. Perhaps I was. I've always just judged it too harshly. But uh, it was never something that. I got into. It doesn't help that I'm not really a huge fan of just reading. I uh, mostly just can, you know, I consume video games. I consume YouTube. It, reading, reading, reading's bad for you kids, actually. It makes your brain all wrinkly. You want a smooth brain, like me. It's aerodynamic. Uh, let's see here. So, anyways, I'm not doing anything crazy at the moment. I'm just, uh, just basically going to be tooling around in paint or in V-Roy today and um, seeing uh, how much progress I can make. Currently just, like I said, getting the right color on my lab coat. Um, that's getting a little closer. I think I can maybe tone down the saturation a little bit more. Um... Yeah, turn on the saturation just a little bit, and I think it'll be good. I like the original color, or th this kind of, you know, cyan color I got. It is extremely bright and saturated, but it's not bad, but it also doesn't really fit the aesthetic I'm going for, and um, maybe clashes a little bit with the actual art style of the game, because the actual game art style is a little bit less, uh, you know, <laughs> bright colors like this, and it is... Not quite pastel, but it's like solid primary colors, and this is a little too much. I will miss the fact that I can't just use the Weezer meme joke uh, in the back, but I think I can repurpose it. I want to have uh, two outfits out the get-go, one being this kind of biometal form, you know, more lab equipment looking like, and then uh, the other being a more casual form. I think for the casual form, I'll end up going with just a... Uh, I'll end up reusing this color, so that way I can still use the Weezer gag somewhere. But yeah, so I'm probably not gonna talk too much until I just... If I have a thought, I'll say it. I guess that's what streaming is, right? But I'm otherwise fairly non-vocal. I like to keep, some, I like to keep a lot of my ideas to myself. Ooh, okay, that's not good. I'm just not uh, particularly used to speaking all the time. It's not my thing. Let's see, 87. I still want this to be a little bit blue. Like, I think this is a good color, maybe. I don't know, I want something that's like it has to still be blue because of real world implications. At least for my brain, for it to, to accept it. But like. You know, I, I feel like it would look better overall if it's just a little bit purple. Just being solid dark blue is a little bit flat. I think that's good. Oh, it's not recoloring the damn buttons. All right, I'll have to. Yeah, because that's on a separate layer. Okay, well we've made progress. I like that color. Now I just have to recolor the buttons. At least, hold on. Am I crazy? If I just go destroy the hue on this, yeah, it's not recoloring the buttons at all. All right. Uh. Oh man, what did I do to get to this point? How can I replicate that exactly? I mean, let's see. The e. Would it be possible for me to just select this and then the color here? As the title implies, I really don't do a whole lot of art stuff, so this might be kind of slow going for a while. I'm f I'm figuring out stuff about my program as I use it. Oh, that doesn't look too good anymore. Oh, that looks... 
Hmm. No, red doesn't fit. As much as I want to make red fit, that doesn't work. That's just more blue. That's also not going to work. Somehow that turned it more blue. Hmm. Alright, I'm clearly not going to be able to do it this way. I just have to remember what numbers I chose. I suppose I could look back at the live stream. <laughs> be a pain in the ass. But I might not have a choice at this rate. I think it was like, what, 70? And then like minus 10 or something? Let's take a look back at the live stream. Pause the audio for a second. Sorry for peaking the audio there. I needed to just just wanted to make sure that the audio was still working. Not really been like fan fiction stuff like that. Seventy sixty-nine. Not nah, in the sixty-six. Sixty yeah. He's fluctuating, he's moving it. Just never been sixty-five. Perhaps I was I've always just judged it too harshly. And come on, I don't have all day here. Sixty-five and negative three. Okay, so 65, negative 3, okay, probably have to still clean up that blue ring there, and then, oh, I forgot what I, <laughs> I forgot the first section, I didn't take note of that, alright, back to the stream again. Okay, and then the last thing I did previously was negative 3 and 87. Alright. Okay, saturation, negative 3 and 87. Oh, too far. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's going to look a little flat. Let's actually just try it with this color first. I mean, we gotta clean up the light blue, but. Um, yeah, let's just save this. As you can tell, every time this pops up, I save my creations very chaotically in several se steps. I basically take snapshots at a time. I don't know how crazy that is. I don't watch art stuff very much. I also just know that most people don't do art in fucking paint.net. Most people actually use something, uh, you know, a little bit better. Like, say, maybe, like, Photoshop or something like that. But, no. Or, or Krita. I know one of my friends uses Krita quite a lot. You know, suck my dick. The guy who made this, uh... PNG in the corner, he used Krita, and like, that's certainly just better. <laughs> well, I won't say better, but it's, it's certainly more of a mainstream one than paint.net. I'm just kind of doing dumb shit here, to be honest. Uh, okay, that blue ring does look obviously bad, but I think that the dark purple shade actually looks okay. Why, why is there fucking like blue artifacting on my crotch? Oh, that's probably when I... Oh, okay, yeah, that's when I had to, like, resize a thing and, like... I had to resize one of these buttons. And, uh, the artifact thing got left behind. Whoopsie. Uh, let me check something real quick. Basically just want to make sure that my stream isn't just completely fucking shitting itself. Alright, no, it's not a slideshow. Good. Mm, ch -ch -ch 
Okay. Um, I think the color is okay. I mean, what if I make it? What if I make it darker? No problem in that. Uh, okay, so that was negative three and eighty-seven. Yeah. That just makes it lighter. That doesn't look good. I don't want it to look lighter. It needs to actually stand out a little bit. Okay, so now let's work on making, getting rid of this ring. Okay, yeah, because that does not look good. Okay. Actually, this will probably be easier. Just use the wand tool. Now, can we get the ring without getting everything else? Oh man, it's been a while since I've listened to the Paper Mario theme. Or the thousand. Okay, this is not working. It's been a while since I've listened to the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door uh, soundtrack. Hell, it's been a while since I've played the game. I, I remember loving that game so much as a kid. I never, I never bothered to, uh, you know, play the original Paper Mario. Uh, just, you know, I'm, I'm 25. I was... Uh, a little bit too late to be a part of the N64 generation. Alright, these pixels might need to be recolored. Something might need to change to make these a little bit more round, because this is kind of oddly, like, non-circular at this side compared to this side. I might have to... Uh... Shit, I might have to touch up the buttons again. Damn it, okay. Didn't really want to, but here we are. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I uh, <laughs> turning to an earlier thought. I gravitated towards Paint.net uh, just when I was younger. I think I just wanted to, you know, make a couple of quick uh, meme edits, and this was the program that ended up, you know, catching my eye. I think I uh, I tried GIMP at first, but like. I, I don't know if it's better now, but GIMP back in, like, 2010 was just a disaster to use. I hated using that program. Like, it was, it was just very unintuitive from what I had known at that point, and it just did not feel right to... I don't know, I'll have to open, like, six different UI items just to make a certain kind of edit. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. That's from so fuck, so many fucking years ago, last time I used GIMP. But, all I know is that anytime I see that green text about the, um, you know, the, the guy who uses Linux TM in the class, uh, unable to follow basic instructions because he has to open up GIMP is so relatable. It's so true. I've never actually been in that position in class, but at home, good God, never want to touch GIMP again. So instead of how I learned to use Photoshop or cracking it when I was a kid, I uh, got Paint.net because it was free. It was intuitive, like um, you know, Microsoft Paint was at the time but more advanced, and so fell in love with it. I probably could and, hell, maybe should graduate to learning, like, Krita now, but, like, I don't... I'm not, like, a... I'm not a major art guy, so, like, what the hell's the point? I don't need to go ahead and do that. I mostly just use, you know, my art tools to make shit posts, and, like, I don't... Clear, you see me, I'm deleting shit pixel by pixel. I'm not exactly the kind of person who's just like, yeah, you know, art, I'll go ahead and, like, fuck it. 
<laughs> take a brush and like remove things elegantly and gracefully. No, I'm very much like a hard math person. I'm stubbornly applying like, all right, cleanup has to be exact to this. Otherwise, I'm going to know. No one else is going to know, but I'm going to know, and I'm going to hate it. So I have to clean it up this way. All right. Uh, okay, now, can I retouch this in any way that makes it look good? Uh, probably not. At least not with my art skills. What if I just do one of these? Well, that actually looks pretty nice. That's fairly rounded out. Just need to actually add the like bordering colors now. But shit. Yeah, actually, speaking of like Photoshop and art programs and stuff. I actually had to use Photoshop at work once because like we were making like a, some new signage and um, didn't have access to paint.net. I was trying to ask the IT people like, hey, give me the permission so I can install paint.net on my work computer. That's what I work with and I'm really comfortable with it. It's good. And they're like, ah, we'll do you one better. We have the licenses for Photoshop. I'm like, okay, well, I never tried it before. Let me go do that. <laughs> and it's a disaster. Photoshop is also just extremely unintuitive. Like, it has some of the best tools around if you know how to use it, but, like, just the fact that you can't easily copy and paste things alone is, like, just such a deal-breaker for someone who just doesn't, you know, is not familiar with it like me. Why on earth would you not just have, like, simple copy and pasting things, like, like on any computer? It's, it's boggling. Go. It's pretty good. I could probably just add like one or two of these for some noise, some noise factor. Go. I don't want that one. That one looks odd. Okay. I think that's that's one more, one or two more things to clean up probably. What if I remove the background? Anything else more obvious? A little bit. That's searing my eyes a little bit, so we'll try to get this done quick. What are these... What are these lumpy growths? They blend in perfectly with the coat, so it doesn't matter, but what the hell is this? Get rid of this. Glad I checked for it. Always check for lumps, people. It might be... It might be testicular cancer. Alright. Okay, now I'll have to go back and fix or transpose this onto all the other buttons. Let's grab this pixel. Put that there. Okay, cool. into a layer. Let's see, there's like a layer opacity feature, right? Layer, ch -ch -ch -ch, layer properties. There we go. Okay. Can align things a little bit easier. Uh, 
Alright, sweet. Okay. Now, a bit of a pain in the ass is that due to how V-Roid stretches textures a little bit, um, or maps its textures, I have to kind of shrink it to fit these bottom three buttons. But, you can more easily get the exact size with the layer opacity stuff. That looks to be it. Alright, there we go. Okay, that is one annoying thing about pink.net. It'll uh, kind of forcibly keep scrolling if you go off the boundaries. Alright, that's good. Alright, uh, and then I can... Right, this is the layer that has the bullshit on it. We hide this. Oh, well, aside from that one button, but yeah, we can get rid of this layer. So we'll just... Okay. And then remove the opacity. And merge downwards. Great. This warning here. Current frame rate's too high. Please set the frame rate to 30 FPS or less. What? Looking at YouTube creator shit. Oh my god, the privacy is unlisted. Okay, nope, we have to fix that. Alright, that's embarrassing. Unlisted stream. So I've been, ran I've been ranting with literally no chance of anybody showing up to hear any of my unhinged shit. Great. Well, new streamer, scuff streamer, stuff, stuff streamer? Scruff, scruff, scrish. Yes. <laughs> Moving on. Alright. Uh, buttons have been cleaned up. Colors about the same. Don't want to edit the color anymore. Feel like there's improvements I could make to the color, but I'm not sure what at the moment. Like it does it. Like on one hand, I want it to stand out. So the buttons, like I don't want the buttons to be like fucking green and completely ruin the colors here. But at the same time, I don't want them to you know blend into the coat too well either. They should fit the rest of the color scheme. Maybe it'll fit better with the color scheme when, like, you know. Um, when I actually draw everything else in. Let me actually... I don't know if I... That'll be fine. Okay. I could, I'll, I could just save a copy of the fucking Weezer coat later. Uh, Alright. Let's save this.
Okay. And let's see how this works. All right. Oh, wonderful. That's a lot cleaner. That is so much cleaner. Okay. Now, what's next? I definitely want to make the neck flaps or the collar flaps like better. I mean, they're stuck in two dimensions in this program. I feel once I move on over to uh, Blender, I'll actually make a three dimensional like shape for these, I think. If I can do that, I should be able to do that still. Otherwise, I'll have to use hair, <laughs> which I really don't want to use. Um, but, eh, you know, we'll see. I think maybe the next thing I would actually want to work on is probably the skin and the other components. So, like, in the ZX series, I learned that the, um, the skin of a lot of the characters is actually, um, they, a lot of them look like they have leggings on. Like, if I bring up a reference image here see here, do, do, do. this is general, yeah, like here you can see like a lot of them, um, you have Vent and, and Ellie over here, how Vent had, kind of has this navy gray, uh, you know, stomach, and how uh, Ellie has the same thing, as well as, um, you know, arms for her arms and legs, apparently that's not like leggings or anything like that, those are just genuinely the skin tone of the characters because they had parts of them replaced with like robotic uh, stuff. Same thing, you can see their neck is also has those colors to it. Whoops. Um, so similarly, even the Reploids do as well. And you could, this is a Reploid, you could tell because of the red triangle. They have to indicate themselves. Kind of weird, but um, you know, if we're going with the lore of the world, we're going with the lore of the world. Uh, so, yeah, I actually, I have to, like, retexture a lot of the skin for Crash here, because, I mean, it just makes more sense that way. It would be kind of strange if it wasn't like that. But apparently, yeah, so apparently this is just, like, the mechanical skin, like, default color for everybody in the universe, which is, like, crazy to think about. Um, how most people just, in that universe, just be like, yeah, I want to be, like, navy blue color. I want to look like a school uniform. Um, but I can also kind of see the appeal. There's a nice aesthetic to it, you know, where it looks like, you know, it simply looks like leggings, even if it's not actually leggings. Uh, so it adds some nice kind of weight filled in. I mean, I think this character does it over here too. My little, my, my stummy area has some of that showing, so. Uh, I think for now, yeah, let's leave the coat as is. And we can come back to it. Um, we can come back to it later. Our code two. Oh, my computer is definitely starting to struggle now. It's not enjoying all this sh shit going on at once. Anything else I can close to save resources? I mean, PNG Tuber Studio alone is just massive on the resources. If I close Discord, I'm not using that. Oh wow, that saved a lot. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back, baby! Uh, actually, yeah, so we'll save this one as. I think this is Biometal Coat <laughs> W for Weezer. And then just actually rename this as Biometal Coat 1. Or just, yeah. Alright, so, skin texture. Uh, where do I do, oh, well. That's an, that is an answer. We'll work on all the other body stuff later. Okay. Alright. Now time to paint wildly, just to see where stuff actually ends up. I think I know what where this is gonna be. This is gonna be the tiddlies. Yep, okay. 
And I should probably take off the coat while I'm doing this, actually. It'll make it a lot easier to look at. So wait, how do I do that without... How do I take off my clothes? Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, tops, we'll get on to this. Create new. Yeah, we'll just do this so that way we can easily have a reference for nothing on. Oh yeah, Pelberg theme, let's go. Uh, where are these straps on the neck? Did I miss something? Get me clean, all nice and clean, no lines, none of that. Okay. Rename this for convenience. Name it none. Good. And then, good thing there's nothing on the skin mask. I chose a perfect one to use. Okay. Same thing for the bottoms. YouTube, don't look. I mean, there's nothing to show here, so we're not going to have anything to really worry about, but. change the underwear color. So that way it's easier to tell and have it easy, more easily stand out against the uh, stand out against the, against the navy skin recolor that I have to do. Uh, actually, there's no... Oh wait. No blur selection. Oh, there's no fill? Ugh, of course there's no fill in this damn function. Okay. Here, we'll have to... <laughs> we'll have to export it. And then change it in paint.net. Alright. And... Outfit. Undies. Paint them bright red, so we'll know exactly what it's standing out against. It's really weird that by default on this damn thing's own like map that there's <laughs> there's like textures underneath the gray areas where nothing's going to render. 
I wonder why they made that decision. It feels so awkward. Oh yeah, one of the reasons I actually mentioned that I uh, that I didn't mention yet about why I wanted to um, do the ZX art style is that it's well, it's actually one of the simplest um, that I could probably do as a good low entry point for a noob like me. Because as you can see, like everything here is every single item, clothing, hair, skin tone, material, everything here. It's just one color with a, um, you know, a, a bright, a bright variant and a dark variant. There is not a lot of complexity in this. It's all solid colors with just light and shadow being played with on each time. And the different kind of like light textures are very similar, sim are all similar. There are these simple little swoops, um, or just shadow where the shadow would be. So like, or just some shine where shine should be. So like, it's very easy to like start off with. As someone with no fucking art talent whatsoever, this is a good start. But anyways, um, dark color. What do they mean by that? Is that the shade? Is that the shade? Using the color calibration. I don't know what they mean by this. What if I did this and then I did some coloring in? I have no idea what it means by that. I mean, I know that the color calibration just completely redoes everything, but... Again, art noob. No knowledge. Excuse me. Well, if you don't like burps, then you shouldn't be hanging out here. We do things a little bit differently than you do in the big city. Uh, but anyways, this should be easy. I just have to... Especially for this, I just have to find the navy color I want and then good to go. I think in the non-biometal form, I'll want to have one that's like kind of half navy, half skin. But, um... Uh, for this, I think full navy is totally fine. So let's go and get blue. Uh, start painting, I guess. Actually, wait. No, no, no. There's a much better way to do this. I should take this into paint.net because otherwise I'm going to lose all the little, like, textural shading things here, like to the armpit, how it's like slightly darker here versus um, on the side of the chest. Yeah, I'm gonna lose all that detail if I don't just recolor it and paint, so. Alright. Export this. actually comical. My computer is struggling more to do all this, stream all this shit, rather than just, like, play Helldivers and record it. Which, uh, yeah. You might have caught that I did briefly, uh, try to stream Helldivers on here, but ultimately ended up, uh, backing out of that because my microphone was clicking in an odd way. In an odd way, voice crack. I promise I'm over 18. Um, yeah, I have a couple clips from that, and I'll still definitely be playing it with my friends. 
so I might upload some of those. It was a pretty good game. I still don't I don't I don't think it's like fucking game of the year insane hype material. I I don't under I still don't understand why everybody is like just jizzing their pants over Hell Divers. Like it's a fun game. It ain't that fun. Just just saying Baldur's Gate 3 was better. It already got its award. I understand that. But Baldur's Gate 3 was better. <laughs> it's a completely different game. Completely different genre. Completely different appeal. It's still better. <laughs> All right, let's find a navy color. Actually, no, let's do this even easier. Let's just take the navy colors from the actual reference images. And extract those. All right, uh, I like the ZX Advent navy colors a little bit better. It's not as... I mean, it's more blue than it is black. Well, I don't know. We'll have to test them out. See how it looks against the coat, especially. It'll look kind of awkward against the coat. I don't. I want it to. It, it needs to be compared against the lab coat, because that'll probably be what I spend the most time in. Uh, oops. This was the recolor. Oh, it is. Okay. Hmm. What if I started from like here instead? Ooh, that's a nice softer color. I like that. Okay, so let's just be like soft purple navy. And then what if I started back from the light again? Be like it's like a warmer purple navy. So extract the alley color instead and see how that strikes our fancy. Oh, well, that's that's not warm. That's not warm purple. That's hot purple. <laughs> that is oh, that is an exquisitely strange color. All right, I'm digging it. And then from the dark area, uh, that's largely the same. It's a little bit, that's lukewarm purple navy. Actually, no, this is definitely more like warm. We should rename this one. Let's rename all of them. Let's just go and make a temperature theme. Why the hell not? Uh, oh, cool, I'm gonna call this one, like, cold. Alright, let's see which one looks best. Delete all of my skin. Oh, right, the head. Shit, I forgot about the head texture. I don't want to recolor the head texture. Uh, where's the head texture? Where the hell did that draw? Did that draw anywhere? What? Okay, well, these are the fingies. Toes and probably fingies. Uh, where's the head? It, oh, hmm? can I not draw on the head? Oh, weird. The head texture, the hair. This is where the hair goes. But I can't redraw the face. I guess that must have been something to select earlier. Must have neglected that. Forgotten about it. 
Well, in any case, that makes my life a lot easier then. Let's start from the coldest. Start importing the other ones. All right, it's starting to look like a drow. I'm getting the feeling the hot is not what we're gonna go for, but let's just save this as a new item. We're also gonna have to uncolor the fingers, because I don't think I want those to be colored. The hands should not be colored, that'd be looking kinda strange, but. And every name, all colors. Okay. Um, what was next? I have dementia already. Forgot. Oh, right. I was going to put the uh, coat back on. <laughs> oh, oops. Not the Weezer coat. Alright. Now let's see which one of these I prefer. That one looks okay. It definitely looks better than the hot one. Let's see. I think that that's the cool one, and this is the cold one. I think cold might look best. It might actually look even better if I make it like just darker, because these are all still too light for my tastes. Yeah, let's recolor this, introduce some black to it. But I do like these colors as they get cooler. I will... Hmm, let's see which ones to recolor. I mean, I could try all of them again. It's still not like it would take that much effort. Warm, open, let's get hot, cool, and cold back in here. It is absolutely bothering me <laughs> that those opened with full resolution while these are full zoom while these did not. Okay, 42%. There we go. Alright, close enough, whatever. Anyways, uh, well, we'll need to zoom out for all these, so that way I can color the edge. Alright. Let's get a dark tone, and we will recolor. Too dark. Just turn up the alpha a little bit. And 113. Okay. I didn't actually remember where I started recoloring. Okay, it doesn't seem to matter too much in this if I start in the light or the dark area. That's good.
While we're finally getting the X naught interlude, I feel like this would have come up faster <laughs> in the soundtrack, but I guess there's a lot more to this game than I remember there was. Alright, uh, let's load them from cold to warm again. That feels a little bit too cold for me. I don't know if that's better. That might be better. A warm. That's that's a. That, mm, I think that's nice on its own, but that looks kind of weird against the coat. Again, that also definitely looks weird against the coat. Yeah, having that warm color just doesn't work right, especially with all the other cool color we're working with here. I think that lightest that lightest tone might honestly be the best one. I could play around with the like how dark it needs to be, but I actually kind of like that it's this light. It looks a lot like the. Uh, it looks like a lot like how um, the. I actually don't know their names. I haven't played the Z I haven't played ZX Advent yet. I'm saving it for later. Um, but it looks a lot like their kind of color. Meanwhile, like yeah, like Vent and Alley have more of this hot. They have more of this hot color, which I mean, ironically, they are wearing like blue stuff, so it feels like that should probably be what I go for. But I also think that I don't know. <sighs> Oh my god. That hot color looks kinda uh, I don't know. Doesn't look too good to me. I mean, it probably doesn't help that I have fucking red underwear on, so it's like getting in the way a little bit of my perception. I don't know, the more I look at it, and, and, the, and with the, like, just philosophy of Vent and Alley's kind of look. I feel like the warm color might actually be better. Oh, I have to ask my, I have to ask my real artist friends later. I like the way, because yeah, I just, I kind of like the color of the cool one more. Like, it just blends in a little better and works better with, like, the, um, what am I trying to say? It works better with just the color of the coat, but, like, it definitely feels, it, it doesn't pop, doesn't have as much life. But the hot one... I feel like the color is a bit stranger, but like it, because it's a little bit warmer, it's more like um, like white skin. It kind of like has it has a, that warmth that human white human skin does, and so it works a little bit better to kind of like you know humanize things. I think we'll go with the, the warm one for now. Uh, so we'll just let's save this. And then we'll save a copy with just the warm one, and come back to it later. All colors dark. Okay. Get rid of the other ones now. Okay, and then go back to the hottest one. <laughs> the hottest.
hot navy. God, what a weird color. Um, yeah, and then we will have to take back the hand components. Put put the hand components back in. So let's close these. Mario, do the Mario. Actually, if we add a layer, that'll be good. Now, where? Again, let's take big, obnoxious color. Figure out where everything's mapped. Okay, well, that doesn't help. All right, do it this way. Don't want to accidentally start coloring in the sh the sides, or the shoulders. What am I trying to say? No, the sides of the stomach. There we go. That'll make this difficult. Okay, so... Okay, so generally speaking... The wrist is like here, the arms go up there, these are the hands. Then over here. Okay, so let's recolor this entirely. Just, I hope that's just artifacting <laughs> those little crosses on the palms. It's probably not. Well, where would that be then? I tried recoloring it, but it didn't do anything. Yeah, at least it's like all the major skin wrinkles that are in a palm. Herm. I guess my other question is then, where are these nails? These other nails? Are these the feet? Are these the toenails? No, because the feet textures are right there. Where is this? Okay, nothing's recolored about that hand. Nor that hand. Huh. Okay, where does this obnoxious red show up? Surely it'll be obvious. Hmm. No, I don't see anything. If I do this for the nails, is that the whole finger or like... I mean, those are just the nail. All right, so th those probably are like the toe nails, but I can't see them under the shoe. That yeah, makes sense, okay. We want that in here. Except for the red part. Okay. Those are the uh, parts I need to get onto. Alright. Oh man, this is hard to look at. <laughs> It's just these skin tones, this all blends into itself very well. Where's the dividing line between these? There it is. Alright. Mm. 
Okay, and I got all the fingers in. Alright, now for the rest of the area. Actually, wait, right? I only wanted the, yeah, I only wanted the first row, not the second row. Okay. First row of nails, not both. Alright. Mm. Go ahead and subtract this area then. Okay. I'll just move the selection though, it's fine. Whew. All right. 208 by 572. And then move it over. Move it over sometime this century. Okay, that aligns. Okay. And then one more over there. Perfectly aligns that way. That does not align in this. So I have to move that over one. Because of course I do. And wait, no, that's okay, that one gets cut off a little bit. Did I make the same mistake? I probably made the same mistake on the other side. I'll have to do this again. Ah, uh, the, the puny tree. This, God, this is some real penis music. This, like, this, <laughs> this level soundtrack drives you insane after a while in there. Like, the area's not that hard, but, like, it just, this is genuinely penis music before it was even coined as such. Running around with those little bugs all the damn time as you solve puzzles and driven crazy by dialogue. And all the while you had this dun 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 chanting in your ear. Oh, okay, see, yep, that's v being kind of dumb again, where it's like, this is probably something that only someone like me would notice, instead of like a, just an actual artist just doing whatever and coloring things in by feel, but it's like, the, these nails are slightly further away on the right side uh, uh, of the body skin map, versus on the left side, they're one pixel closer, and so... That makes the inverting or flipping the selection over. It's wrong now. It's not going to copy the same things, but oh my god, cancel this person. But like something that only I would ever notice. Alright, so uh, just for good measure, I will 
copy this, put it in another layer again, delete the last one, just in case I didn't do the first do it right the first time. All right, so now if we do this, okay, we can put this back in. That'll be good for the hands, or well, for most of the hand, the fingers, and then the hands are actually what's up here. Correct, correct. This I could probably just use this tool for. Oh no, it's contiguous. Uh, shit. How do I color this without? Hmm. How do I capture this? Think, think, think. Um. I mean, I. Yes, it might be more easily done through Vroid, yeah, because that creates a nice split. Oops, not that color. I'm just curious, did that fix the, uh... Oh yeah, that is where the... Huh. Interesting. Wow, if I really cared, I could make, like, lines in the palms. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, I'm not doing that. That's a little bit higher level than what I signed up for, but... And it doesn't fit the art style, either. That's my excuse. I could be lazy. But anyway, this does make things easier. I can just color it here in Vroid and then move it over export it get the selection off of this image then move it to the standard skin color image and go from there okay Bring this in. All right, no, hold on. I just want to bring it in separately as its own layer. Let me do this. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that 
that didn't export right. What's up with that? That looks, that doesn't look quite right. Well, hmm. Does it look normal in that? No, it does not look normal. Now what the hell happened? I guess that technically is right. Hmm. Alright, it must have simplified it down when I uh, actually hit the export button. Alright. Still works well enough. This is some Baba is You music right here. Eh, hold on. Now we gotta get the rest of this in over here. Can't leave anything like this behind. Actually, wait. I should download the guide. That'll tell me if this is worth anything or not. If I need to actually grab that little piece of skin right here. Yeah, no, I don't even need to bother. Sweet. Right? Uh, for the most part, no. I, do, I should probably get these last, like, two hanging pixels. Alright. Alright, cool. Full select these. That's weird. Some extra space up here that isn't bothered with in uh, the rest of the program. I guess I may as well also grab it. Okay, no. Wow, I very much do not remember this theme in the game. I couldn't even place who this is for. a lumpy and ugly selection, but we'll deal with it. Here, let's also remove this. Don't want to be taking accidental chunks out of the actual, uh, the rest of the body. this yeah we got that okay and then now we needed to grab a little bit more of the wrist okay
I mean, we could just like take this selection, have a little bit of the uh, wrist that goes under the coat as well. That's good. Same thing over here. Ah, uh, this theme, this is iconic. This is the theme of Lord Crump. Comic relief favorite. So, I don't know. I don't want a lot of the neck to be recolored. I don't know if I want all of it all the way up to back here to be recolored. That seems a little strange. But then again, I suppose if I were to, like, say, cut it off here, that could look even weirder. Of course, the alternative would be to then have the neck be in full color, but then, then now it transitioned really weird over the collarbones. Herm. like that to look less strange. Yeah, I think so long as if I, I cut it off at the jawline and then slowly tapered it backwards, it probably wouldn't look that awkward from the side. Yeah, I think I like something like that, because I definitely don't want to just be fully colored like that. What happened here? It's like real obvious. Where's it going to show up? That's, oop, I see what I accidentally did. Or do I? No, I never touched this. Why does it look so... Why do these two parts look so different? It's like the shading just gave up there. It looks fine on this side. Ooh. No, oh, that's just the... Sh <laughs> that's just the shadows. Yeah, that's just what light does. <laughs> that's just what light does. Okay. Alright, nothing too crazy then. Okay, we can pretty easily go back to doing whatever with this. As a general guide, something like that. Okay, and great. Just has something that follows this line, basically. All right.
try two of the jump. That's uh, not quite it. it. Kind of is, but not quite. It'll take too long. I just select the space in between? That might be the brightest choice. No. No, what I do is that I create, I recreate, I retrace the border. Actually, no, fuck it, don't trace the border. Just uh, select it. Loosely select it, copy and paste, and then trim off what's not necessary. Okay, this may be perfect, just gonna select the area underneath anyways. Oh, look at that. Clean shave on the right. Kind of a messy shave on the left. Now I gotta go. Now I have to make the left look better. <sighs> because, of course, all the things I'm going to be looking at for like half of a second, it's important to make them look good while you're stuck looking at them. Bad art advice. Follow me for more bad art advice. Speaking of. Oh god, I can't have these here. Messy, messy, messy! Okay, so wait. The goal was that I wanted to have everything within these regions to be the skin tone, so if I... Just delete the web that's in here, select that as one chunk, and then reconnect, re recolor that as the original skin tone. That's what I want. Okay.
last pixel. All right, there we go. So here, transfer that copy to the skin, regular skin layer, and put it up here. Why not? Yay! All right. Actually, I tell you why not because then I can't make that one invisible easily. Now we just need to see how that looks. Okay, that's at least kind of the area where it should probably transition from, though I still have to color in the rest of the neck. And then, oh, perfect, the hands look great. There's just somewhere in the middle the color changes. Oh, that looks, that looks really good, actually. I like that, okay. Yeah, we can see if I want any nail polish later, I might. As a little kid, I actually uh, liked getting nail polish from my mother. I thought, I thought it was cute. I wanted to be like mom. Okay, now where's the rest of this? Do I have to mark? Roughly speaking, okay, there. So if I follow that line, I should be able to edit the rest of this. It doesn't help that the hair is in the way. I'll probably have to move that. I'm a little concerned that there's still this like artifact here. can't get rid of this line. That bothers me. Let's say a word to just actually color this in. Would it fix itself or not? Probably not, it's my guess. No. That's just kind of there, like with the hands. actually get that uh, get that too in order for it to kind of be flattened out and look good all right now I could basically just take the horizontal selection from where that part of the polygon starts and go over to the border all right
Then I'll have to disable the hair to properly see the neck back here. But all right, that's a good, it's a good sign, good progress. Oh, it's so annoying having to shift between different hotkeys. It's shift plus scroll, just zoom and thyroid, and control plus scroll to view the zoom and like, I don't know, any other program like paint.net. Where, where did my mouse go? There we go. Okay. Background back, okay. Select this. Well, actually, hold on. I'll also get this in. And I suppose one more pixel of uh, skin tone wouldn't hurt to make this look a little less awkward to look at. Okay, that's that. And then these areas over here, it was... Oh, the area is slightly below the second guide. take like this much for now or maybe it would probably no it doesn't really align with that the other part in any way that would make too much sense for everything to be on the same horizontal axis be easier than trying to realign it and then we'll just delete what we don't need delete this copy from there and copy it here okay Oh no, we don't want that because we want to be able to save this. All right, copy it to another layer, do this, and then delete what we don't want in the middle. Great. Wait. Wait, when this is visible, it 
But if this is invisible, then... Maybe hitting backspace, maybe I should delete. Okay, there we go. But da 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 Sounds a little like Undertale. <laughs> no, citizen! You're supposed to obey me! Bowser! Remove the guide. Okay, I should probably also save this as the uh, PDN so that way I can come back to it. It'd be pretty bad if it just spontaneously decided to crash. Okay, that looks better, although I still don't know how to get rid of this other artifacted crap. I'll have to look into that. And then I still see a little bit up here on the neck area. Where does that correspond to? Down there? Okay, sure. <laughs> Yeah, I guess this is at the base of the skull at this point. Still. Is there anywhere that's just like... Is there anywhere else that's like controlling that weird alias line? Any just random patches of green that I need to get rid of? No? Ah, uh, frustrating. No, oh, alright. We can get to editing that. Alright, yeah, we can... Green, save this, get rid of the hair, come back and finish that. I think we can finish the neck area. And then after that, we'll be done for the night. I'm getting a little bit of a headache, kind of done talking out loud. Oops. Okay, delete that. Get blank for a second. Blank. See everything deconstructed. There's nothing back here. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so I basically just need to recolor in this whole area. Yeah, this whole everything. Okay, simple enough.
art. <laughs> that, that's good. I will save that image. Save a couple of versions of it. So that way I can make thumbnails later. Beautiful. Okay. But, oh yeah, that looks pretty good on the neck. Obviously that does kind of taper downwards a little bit more, but I think that's fine. It's fine to give my neck a low taper fade. Uh, I think I should probably expand this one a little bit. It looks a little bit awkward. A line. Should maybe make it a little bit more smooth, smoother to go down into that chunk. But otherwise, I think the neckline looks good. Aside from this fucking artifacting, which I don't know how to fix. Not yet. I start naming these. This is going to be a complicated setup to not have layer names. Yeah, because I'm starting to forget these already. Okay. Neck one, like neck two. Merge these two down. Okay, and then go back to fixing this up here. Neck one. All right. Make this look a little less awkward. I mean, I, I could, like, go ahead and be like, oh yeah, copy the It's the same color. Okay. Wait, what layer did I just draw on? Next one. Okay, I'm not seeing it. Uh, oh, right, I have something else selected, that's why.
Did I get the one all the way at the bottom here? I did. Those, uh, is that the exact same? Not quite. The selection itself is actually a little different. So wait, one, one, two, three, one, 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 two, three, two, one, 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 two, three, one, one, two, three. One one okay one two three one one then one one here I think that's what's different yeah because these are three steps down this is only one so we have to change that Rockhawk theme, let's go! One of the most iconic. I love this fight in the game. Rockhawk was so fun to go back and fight. I always wondered why they didn't make it so like... You, like, after the, um... Uh, what is it? After the main game, like, when you go and fight, refight Rockhawk. Like, why didn't they make him harder? Like, they could have done a totally cool thing where it's like, you know... Oh, Gonzalez, after the months you've been gone and away, I've been training. And you're, I'm totally gonna rock you tonight. Not like last time. I've learned my lesson. And then he like is, you know, a super boss of the game. That would be so cool. Oh well. They didn't hire me at Nintendo. Not yet anyways. Okay, so it's that. One, two, three. And it drops down. Then one, two. Drops down. One, two, three, and then does the stair step thing. Oh, this one is a little different. Doesn't do it quite the same way. These are all the same after that stair step. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Chunk's also a little different. Why is that? Copied the same template. Yeah, I must have screwed up on the erasing a little bit. Actually, I have a better idea. Let's just fill this into my heart's desire and then just flip this. Yeah, right, cool. The selection. This piece of music. This piece of music with uh, what was it Tubba Grubba? Like this always sounded very Eggman-like to me. This would be perfect in like a Sonic game. It's just that electrical sound. It's really nice. Okay. Apparently the Slayer is slightly off. All right. There, that's the perfect position for it. And 
then we have to erase this part in neck one. Delete, and then merge down. Neck one, all right, perfect. That fixes that issue. Maybe it's, hmm. Hmm, maybe that could be it. Maybe I need to recolor the area underneath the template a little bit. Because it seems it's, I mean, it's in the same location. It's probably perfectly shaped to be like this, but I just didn't, like, recolor this border. And it's probably getting pissy about that. So let me just do that. Even the battle music fits the whole Eggman idea just as well. Honestly, I could see a Tubba Grubba type scheme working out as an Eggman type scheme as well. Eggman steals the Chaos Emeralds to look young and beautiful forever and strong. Why don't... That's actually another good question. Why did we not have a game yet where Eggman has harnessed the power of the Chaos Emeralds? I want to see Super Eggman in all of his glory. Going around, uh, p pissing on everyone's wives? No, that's a shadow thing. Um, but like, I could imagine Super Eggman so having some kind of fun, even if he doesn't have you know whatever natural power gift it is in the Sonic Cannon that allows him to take a uh, take it on. He's a smart guy. I'm sure he pr could probably invent a machine to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Sega, I'm just saying, you're wasting your, uh, potential here. I just do the same trick again. Once again, this whole layer is like one pixel off. It's weird. Alright, just merge this one directly. Okay. I think that should solve it now. Hey, look at that. My assumption was right. It's a little weird the face doesn't get any... Oh, the face does get shadows on this side. I guess the lighting is different there. I don't know where the light source is in this fucking gray void that I'm existing in, but... Ooh. Hello. What's that? I have to get rid of that.
Alright, that's, that's looking pretty good. That's getting somewhere. I can just add the hair back and I won't look like a complete lunatic. Actually, wait, hold on. How does it look around the neck? Is it uh, smooth? Smooth enough. Oh, right, I also have to fucking add the four, four angle? Forehead triangle. Where's the forehead on this thing? Oh, right, that's on the, like, head head part of it. All right, I'll have to go back and do that. Face paint, that's where it would go. Alright. Mess with that later. Let's put all the hair back on. Well, I am gonna have to. Alright. You know, no, it would be best just to get the face paint part of it done now. Because otherwise, I'll just have to turn the hair back off again. Let's see. Let's get a general idea of what the reference look like. It's, it's definitely a smoother triangle. It's not it's equilateral like in nature, but it's also not completely rigidly like perfect. It's got smooth edges to it. Is there, I know there's a shapes feature in this thing. Oh, is there a way to make like a rounded shape, perhaps? Okay, that's weird. I have made I have made the fucking portal to the flesh dimension in Minecraft just add fire to the center. Okay, I well, they have rounded rectangles, but not rounded triangles. I mean, what if I used a rounded rectangle? Yeah, hold on. We're smart fellers, we can figure this out. Alright, then if I use half of this, that's gonna be a little too isosceles, so I just kinda have to eyeball. Something equilateral esque. Well, no, I have to get square, right? Because, yeah, there's no way that's gonna squish otherwise. Okay. Square, and then. Two. No, I'll have to just rescale that once I cut it in half. Cut it in a approximate half. Let's go a little bit over to get the rounding in. Oh, right, I forgot to change the color. Actually, that's like nearly perfect as a color. I get like a little bit more orange in there. Yeah, that's good. 
They make it a little less bright. No, actually, we want it that bright. We want it that saturated. Okay. See if we rotate this. Okay, do that, and then we can press Alt and remove a selection. Um, that will kind of look okay. That still doesn't get the full rounded tip. Oh, if I copy that rounded tip down there. Yeah, okay. Then I'll be able to fill in the rest of the color. Now oh, I don't have this slight fade out copied in, damn it. Just copy the aliasing. Yeah, okay. Crop this. Oh. First, we can actually squish it to kind of be the dimension we want it to be. This is a little bit too oblong. How. Okay, so like these are like a just a touch wider than equilateral. It's like this is roughly equilateral. So we could do something like this. Maybe make it a little taller. Yeah, I think that's good. That definitely encapsulates like the whole curve, so I'll take that. So here. That was originally a right angle. That's going to look a little different. Hmm. Any way to measure angle in this thing? Well, I don't want it to be too perfect. I would kind of detach from it a little. Trying to be properly rounded.
actually, what if I just search up rounded triangle? That'll probably, yeah, this, that'll be way easier. It's literally just a fucking rounded triangle on stack overflow. <laughs> I'm trying to reinvent the wheel here. I should stop. Oh, and this one's a little too flat. I wanted something a little bit more like... A little bit more like... Let's see. I mean, I know you can't look at my Google search right now, but... A blue triangle, huh? That's what it's called? Okay, hold on. I know this isn't very interesting, me looking up triangles on my own, but... Build generator? Maybe? Uh, Wolfram Alpha to my rescue once again. Well, maybe not. Okay, I would really have to... Nope, 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 too much. Copy link, copy image. Alright, this might work a little better. Yeah, that's a lot better. That, is this just the FanDuel triangle? <laughs> Did FanDuel reuse this damn triangle? First, get rid of all this white. Disgusting white background. Get out of my sight. change the uh, the length slash height on this at all maybe yeah again these are meant to be more kind of like wide and I imagine if I took the shape tool here and drew a equilateral triangle it would very much look like this Yeah, because, like, like, by default, these things are generated, yeah, these things are generated using circles and geometry and, yeah, need to make this a little wider. Of course, three concentric, or three slightly off-center circles. Equal, equal distantly off, equal, fuck, equal distantly off-center circles would make an equilateral triangle. So just do that. Perfect. Now we make it this red color. High tolerance to get the border pixels.
And then aliasing. No, alias rendering. There we go. That's what we want. Perfect. Okay, now we just need to put shove this onto the, to the damn skin map. Now, uh, where is everything gonna go? Okay. Actually, we're probably gonna want to put the probably gonna want to put the hair on, just so I can see where it, how it, where it. Yeah. Where the mark should go in relation to where the hair is. I think I just use this as the base hair. Yeah, I think I just use this flat. Did I? Uh oh. <laughs> Oop, dumb something's definitely clipping. I don't think I used base hair. Oh no, I definitely did. Shit, which base hair did I use? There it is. Okay, perfect. Alright, now back to the face. Oh, wait, not the expressions yet. <laughs> We're a long way from that being done. Okay, so now... I mean, like, it's gotta be in the fucking middle of the forehead here. Oh, excuse me. Yawning. Eepy, eepy. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I'm going to have it... Huh. The hairstyle is going to be covering it up slightly. That's cool, actually. I kind of wanted that. I feel like my character would find it awkward, the fact that he has to be marked as a robot for everybody to see. That has its own historical implications. So I want it generally in that area. Okay, that... <laughs> I did, in fact, just export the, the fucking triangle instead of the actual guide. Good job. Ooh, Cortez's theme. This is a good one. It's one of my favorite boss themes in this game. Or favorite themes from this game in general. I mean, honestly, Cortez is also just such a badass dude. Like, several forms, lots of different pieces to hit. One of the most satisfying battles in this damn game.
Oh wait, that is that is actually why I wanted this. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna just size this bad boy down. Center it. Beautiful. Save it as a PNG. Okay, no, I want the fucking PDN. There you go. Okay. And now, back foot in program. Uh, hello? Oh, open it. Uh, Vroid, come on. Oh, this program, such a pain in the ass to use. Open it. Open it! What if I open something else? Okay. <laughs> Fuck! Why did it not save correctly? The PNG, something it did. Okay, it failed. Cool. I guess it. I guess I think Paint.net didn't properly compress the layers down. It didn't prompt me to do so. I'm guessing it forgot because the other parts are kind of insignificant here. That was all about. But now it should work. There we go. Okay. Uh, get rid of this shit. Okay, that's weird. It is. It doesn't. Of course, it doesn't map normally. Why would it? Oh, dumb fucking program. Make it a little smaller and move it up. I think that would look better because it's not, yeah, it's not that prominent in the original source material. the guide. And let's shrink it to make it an odd number of pixels so we can properly center it. Please.
right, that's still not going to solve the weird rounding problem. Oh, no, it just miraculously, well, almost solves it. It seems to take it above the line that wherever the hell it gets distorted from. Like, I could fix it like this here. But that's going to be imprecise. I don't like that. Yeah, this is one of those things I'm just going to have to go back in, spend an arduous amount of time editing. I could just leave it like that. I mean, no. I mean, you can kind of tell that still something's off even from the sides. If I just demonstrate. that far. Too far? Okay, there we go. And it looks fine. It's a little wonky. You can tell that it gets stretched out a little bit by the way the face mapping works, but I think that's overall okay. Uh, now let's see. I could probably turn down the saturation a little bit. I know I wanted it to be kind of intense, but this is getting a little ridiculous. A little bit too bright red. Make it a little more orange, reduce the saturation, and I think we'll be good as gold on this. This is the more orange direction. I, it barely changes, question mark? Oh, it's because I'm on the background, that's why. All right, we'll start at zero. We'll get the saturation right first. Let's see, this is 100, that's a bit much. Oh, that's a that's way too low. Yeah, I think 87% saturation is going to be good again. Change to be slightly more orange. Yeah, like this three is good. Yeah, that, that's a lot better. That looks a lot more like the cannon color. Sweet, okay. Whew. All right, wow, made a lot of progress today, shit. Okay, um, anything else? I wanted to really make sure I got done before I go. So the neck thing still looks a little odd. Might give that an adjustment in the future, but I'm actually pretty happy with where that is. I mean, from the side, it looks good. It, like, kind of transitions away from the jaw nicely. You could maybe argue that, like, this triangular spot should not be there. It's just kind of more smoothly come off of the jaw rather than a steeper angle, but I think it's still fine where it is. It still looks good from the front, or from the side a little, and yeah, it still looks fine from the like slightly offside as well. We got the triangle on top, it actually matches pretty nicely with the eyes and the coat, complimentary there, buttons look good, hands, the right color, 
This part of the skin looks good too. Ah, yes, we can fix that minor blemish before we get out for the night. Save our work. And reload the fucking coat texture. And work our magic. Where is that little bit of blue? Right on the edge there. Okay. Yep. All right. I see it now. How did you survive? First, then we can do this without, without accidentally crossing into the transparent zone. Or I guess this also border of slight darkness. Yeah, okay, that's the affected area. Cool. Excellent. Any other small blemishes? Nope. The shadows look a little bit weird when you're looking directly at them, but eh, not too bad. Got rid of that weird blue aliasing around the crotch, right? Yep, okay, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the darker color even makes this little, like, wrist, uh, like, cuff look even better, too. It looked a little bit strange than cyan, but with like the, the darker blue purple, that looks great. Coat. We already saved that. All right. All right. That's where I'm gonna call it for today. We made a lot of progress on this uh, on the model right now. We recolored the coat text. We recolored the coat, made it look a lot more, a lot less eye searing, although a lot less funny than the Weezer coat. Um. Let's see. Retextured the skin the way we needed it to, so that way it got kind of the navy color that uh, is common to the ZX world. And we also got the canon uh, mark of the Reploid on the forehead. Whew, not bad for, what, like a three hour stream? <laughs> oh god, art is a slow process. Okay, well, thanks for uh, tuning in. Thanks for joining me today in post. I guess it wasn't today. Thanks for joining me in the future, and uh, I hope 
Uh, I hope to make this somewhat regular. I'm not going to stream every single time I start opening Vroid, otherwise I'm just never going to actually finish this model. But uh, I'll probably tune in with a couple more Vroid streams along the way. This was uh, nice to have an uh, opportunity to voice my thoughts out through the creative process as I went through it. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later one day. Something like that. Bye!